if you keep on eating and eating 365 days, that means you are starving the other nature. Because when you abstain from food and drinks and all other activities that you used to do, we call that a fast, which means if you are doing that, inyama yako, ibasulo, umoya wako, uba fast. Now, when you eat always, umoya wako, ubasulo, inyama yako, uba fast. And remember, according to the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, or 15 or 51, is when you say, inyama ni gas, as a say, umu jayini fa, umu kumbani, pamasu. Meaning, when you are feeding your flesh, always, you are starving your spirit. Now, when you starve your flesh by fasting, you are feeding your spirit. That's why, when you fast, you are not like a person who is just declaring a hunger strike. When you fast, you read the word of God. You meditate on the word of God. That's why it's very important when you are in fasting, you stay away from cell phone. You stay away from the internet. You stay away from any other things, televisions, because it is the time now whereby you are feeding the spirit with the things of God. And remember, it is going to shout. It's going to say shout. Meaning, you will have headaches, you will have edema, you will have many, many other things. But in your mind, now you are paying the part. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to pay for it. Yeah, I'm going to pay for it. Oh, I'm going to pay for it. Yeah, I'm Now, number two, what is fasting? If you read in the book of Ezra chapter eight. From verse 21, you will hear the mighty prophet as the city. Such a class figure of Mulapa, the Ahava, Sasimula, Santoma, and Pefumot, Uti, Kuba, and the Soyika, Uyela Kungan, Diti Kuye Kungan. Verse 13 of Psalms. He says, I humbled my soul in prayer and fasting and guided myself in second. He was a king who did not to the palace. But what did he do? He fasted. Fasting and never be called. Fast and be called. When I'm turning young, fasting and be called. Fasting and be called. Because you are totally surrendered to the Lord. You are totally giving yourself out for the Lord. Again, in the book of Psalms 89, 
the stage. He says, I humble That means when you fast, you are serious about an answer to your prayer. Bazalan, it is a school. I am fast. I am fast. I am this verse with me is according to your manifest and goba in me in the second of the God of Kuzikaesha there comes a time when we are fast God of Kuzikaesha the times we are in are wicked wicked times we are living in times that everything entices our flesh television entices our flesh music Entices our flesh. Our surroundings entices our flesh. Everything, social media, internet, everything entices our flesh and our spirit. Our spirit is suffering. Remember, if you read in the book of John, chapter 4, verse 24, the Bible says, God is spirit. And those who worship Him must worship Him. Spirit and truth. Those who pray to Him must pray in spirit and in truth. Those who embrace Him must embrace Him in spirit and in truth. Anything that you do without your spirit is void, is waste for God. That's why your spirit should be charged through prayer and fasting. If you read, in the book of Exodus, chapter 34, we hear the great prophet Moses from this night. He prayed for the days and for the nights because he was about to receive the commandments from the Lord. That means, as a preacher, you must be a friend of fasting in order for you to receive from above. Every unfasting preacher is a dry preacher, even if he can be noisy. Noise can somehow fool people. But the power of fasting, the power of the cupboard of God, is the one that changes people. I don't disqualify or discredit noise. Any pray, any preacher that is not fasting and praying, then brings in people's hearts. If you read in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 14, God says, Jeremiah, I've made your words to be fire. Jeremiah, I've made your words to be fire to these people. When they hear you speak, fire will burn in their hearts because fasting burns the heart and you utter the fire of God. Again, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 9, the man of God Moses reminds them, he says, I fasted 40 days and 40 nights because of your sins. Meaning, when we fast, sinfulness is going to say, totally for God. That's why, Menace is so as long as it's puzzling, cell phone, internet, social media. When we fast, we go to Italy before the Lord, seeking His forgiveness. If you read in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 13, the Bible says, Song is done, sin is said, 
Nothing God does not see. Now when you go to him in fasting and say, Lord, I'm under one more. But when we are more, please forgive me, Lord. Please, we are asking for God. Please forgive me. And God will hear you and rescue you. And rescue you. My brothers and sisters, when we fast, we are humbling ourselves, going naked to our Father. Going naked. In the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 2, the Bible says, Church of Antioch fasted and prayed. And the Holy Spirit came and gave the direction and said, Separate me, Barnabas, and Paul. Separate for me, Barnabas, and Paul to go to the work which I have for them. When we seek wisdom, we go to God in fasting. We go to God in fasting. It's very, very important. Fasting. Don't don't listen to people who discredit it. Don't listen to them. Lazy believers. Lazy believers. I'm talking about lazy believers who don't want to do anything for the Lord. If you read in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 48, verse 10, the Bible says, Kesti is a man who does the work of the Lord slothfully. Lazy believers who always, always want to receive, receive, receive. They don't pray, they don't fast, they don't do anything, they don't win souls for the Lord. All they want is the benefit of God. Cast it is anyone who does the work of the Lord slothfully. Useless believers who don't take up their crosses daily. If you read in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 31, Apostle Paul says, I die daily. I die daily. Now, when you fast, you are dying to self and rising in the spirit. If you, you forget your dreams, when you are asleep, fast. If you are addicted to social media, television, soapies, internet, fast. If you are full of feelings and crashes, fast. If you see that you are becoming so easily and angered and rude, fast. Church of Jesus, it's time to fast. Let us run back to the foundations of our beliefs, the foundation of our faith. Fasting is one of them. Fasting is powerful. If you read the book of Matthew 17, verse 21, we used to sit in Tabi after fasting. Aba fundiba ki ba kavu el dimon lomda ano kuzla ya pesat. La fiwiyes oti dimon ya pu mabaya mbuzi kalen gospel tainti uti yes is kind. Anene moya yes ya na nerex is kind cannot come out only. Prayer and fast. Unazindo na sozus bone in the spirit. Unazindo na sozus fikere na kuzo. Unen dimensions. Unen nas. Unen taste. Unen aroma. Unen fragrances of the spirit. Onga sozus ve. Let's fast. Let's fast. All of my life, I taught my spirit to fast. a day in a week of fasting. If you are serious about your faith in Christ, you should fast. There comes days when these ones will fast. Also. My brothers and sisters, if you read 
in the book of Psalms 50, verse 15. When you fast, Bible says, this amna, yeminye bagese, muna le klangol, when, this is, a man of God, Daniel, fasted, chapter 9, of Daniel, he fasted 21 days, Fasted. They see humanity. Are we exceptional from them? If fasting worked for them, it will surely work for us. Do not be lazy to fast. Do not be lazy to seek the counsel of God through fasting. My brothers and sisters, in if you are so lazy from fasting, oh, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried about you. If you read Joshua chapter 7, verse 6 to 11, if fasting, yes, she may listen. It's not as funny as it revealed to Joshua. What is happening? What is happening? Again, if you read Jonah chapter 2, verse 5, the whole city of Nineveh fasted. They repented before God. True repentance comes from the heart of a fasting person. When you repent, surely you will fast. And the Bible says, God withdrew his anger and killed the Lord. When you want to repent of a particular sin, you should fast. When we want the power of the Holy Spirit, we will go and engage in fasting. A fasting church is a fire church. A fasting church is a fire church. Acts chapter 1, verse 11. Acts chapter 9, 9 to 11. The church had the power of the Holy Spirit. Again, in Mark chapter 9, verse 28 and 29, the demons flee in a believer who stands on fasting. Demons don't stay, they shiver when you come because. You are full of the Spirit. Luke 4, 14, the Bible says, Jesus Christ from the mountain. After he fasted 40 days and 40 nights on the mountain, the Bible says he was walking in the Spirit. Undo Undo My God. Who Ezra, 28, 21 to 23, they fasted and said, I have if you want a breakthrough in your life, you got to fast. Isaiah 58 from 6 until the last the last verse, if I can eat. This is the kind of fast I want. To set the captives free, to break the yokes, to destroy all wickedness. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 tells us. Kubana Fuswa, Kunye no Christo. Funani, isi dosa pesu. Apo, akoyo, Christo. A fucking believer is a dangerous believer. A fasting believer is a dangerous believer. The devil knows a fasting believer. That's why he will tempt you to drop your fasting. 
he will tempt you to drop your fasting go bia yas e fasting ina manja ina manja umsalo na zone bela kubali siswekile dineswekile you are embracing sickness more than humility before god ask yourself who's you are because abona bana basa survive kwel qesha e last igalelwe ngebhekile kweliswe e last igalelwe ngecontainer ebandleni phakathi ebandleni last yongamile only the believers who will fast and pray will break that only believers who will fast and pray will break that i'm calling you i'm calling you bofu no bona uqaqa uli ukathika you should fast don't postpone so fast like the next time don't don't postpone do it now because if you want wisdom of god you will fast if you want your preaching to remain in the hearts of your listeners even for the next 10 years to come you should fast for your messages why we escalen as in south africa kanje it is because we fast we fast we are not lazy to fast we fast and pray god when we are in that studio let it burn kuna bantu abazilibali messages zethu esasi sizishumayela even 2 years ago why the power of fasting accompanies our message everywhere i go people never forget my preachings why i'm not scared to fast i'm not boasting i'm telling the truth if you want to be effective in your generation you have to fast if the patriarchs and the prophets and the apostles fasted in the past even our lord jesus fasted we ought to fast as well marala heteke na hadashi kapa ya sofe mkhoba oh hallelujah shetata mahabeka ya sia hallelujah the church must go back on fasting the church must go back on fasting if you read 2913 of jeremiah bauti wakuta la kum na yahova utanda sana isaiah 55 verse 6 funani yahova sana kufumaneka mizeni isekufupi si amiza the fasting and the prayer i'm urging the church of jesus christ to run back on fasting dizotsho namhlanje continue with your fasting be faithful to your fasting be faithful to your fasting god will be faithful to answer you 58 verse 11 the glory of god of isaiah the glory of god will walk behind you the light will lead you you will call he will say here i am my daughter what do you want my son what do you want let not your flesh be noisy be loud and your spirit humble yourself before the sight of the lord who will raise you up james chapter 4 Verse 10 tells us tell us Tommy Jogo stand us bauti mfundisa nsiswanga mna fora ntimu yesu ndiyeni ya Tommy Jogo wenza mpanda zibu kwa miti ngosi yesu mshanje usu ndikizu ya gena nda paka tuwa kone lesu yesu msa ya kwa mkena ndiyeni ya nila ule in Jesus Christ name amen my brothers and sisters in what is on the second if you want my books in what is sharing heart it will help you with heart matters 
when you are taking spiritual gifts, it will help you to grow in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. See you for my number. My number is 073 179 96825. So, Dimani Megan Street, 